This is Dr. Andrew Jones. Pippi, as you guys may or may not know, is a very inquisitive, lovely uh, yellow lab. She's hanging out here now, but she's got a very peculiar odor. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. Today's video I'm dressed a little more casually than normal. Um, primarily because I'm getting myself ready to give Pippi a bath. So I'm dressed this way because Pippi just happened to chase a small little black and white creature. Literally, I just picked her up to do the video. I ran her into the backyard. Let's go have a little run in the backyard to throw a ball. What did Pippi see but a skunk? So right now, if only you could smell what I smell on video, your nose would be even worse looking than mine. And I've got this manky hoodie on because Pippi's rubbing up against me. Now I'm smelling like scum. So this is my shed in the backyard. And this hole right here, that's where the skunk is living. Hence, the skunk was out for a little afternoon stroll, met Pippi, hence the bad smell. As you guys can see from that last shot, Pippi doesn't really mind the smell too much and so all the rolling around. So you guys, so a couple things about skunks and their, their odor. First of all, they're spraying because they're feeling threatened. Oh, Pippi, I'm gonna smell so bad. They're spraying because they're feeling threatened. Secondly, part of the smell, the odor, there's a, a chemical compound called a thiol, and it's a similar chemical compound that comes from, that produces the smell in rotting flesh. I just that strong, strong odor. Uh, so, a couple things. Once you I've had dogs have been spreading the eyes and mouth. Especially irritating, they can do a lot of salivation. Um, really painful to their eyes, especially their cornea. So that happens, you want to flush it, and that's what we're going to do next. First on Pippi, I'm going to really flush her face well, uh, flush out her mouth well. Then nextly, what we're going to do is try out uh, one, of, one of the newer anti-skunk smell home remedies. So I'm in here, sort of in the utility room. This is where uh, we used to do the laundry, etc., from the clinic. And this is the one spot where I still have a utility sink, so I'm gonna go put Pippi in it. So the natural remedy that I'm gonna use consists of three things in particular. I'm actually adding in a fourth uh, to try it out. So the basis of it is we're using hydrogen peroxide, which is this here. Uh, and here's the 3% solution. And you're going to need about 500 mils, which is two cups of it. Um, and that's what sort of the standard bottle size dose. So I've got one bottle of hydrogen peroxide. Next, we're going to add this, which is baking soda. We're going to add two tablespoons of baking soda to that mixture. And then uh, for a soap to help bind to the, the thiols, the chemical ingredient in the skunk smell, uh, we're going to use it some type of a dish soap, which I've got here. We're going to a teaspoon of that. So here is our concoction. Here it is. There's our yeah, 500 ml or two cups of hydrogen peroxide. Pippi got a pretty direct hit, so we're going to need a fair amount of this. Then I'm going to approximate about two tablespoons. And here's our tailspan. So one, two tablespoons of the baking. Okay, if I could actually get any. That's the problem when you're looking at the camera and trying to do what you're doing. Things don't always add up. So I'm going to add that next. So make sure I have two tablespoons of baking soda. Got it in there. There's my two tablespoons. And lastly, in a small amount, I'm just saying about a, tea, a teaspoon of a dish soap. So, which is about yay there. There's my teaspoon. And 
and let's mix this all in together. So here's our concoction. Peroxide, and so what's happening is the hydrogen peroxide uh, is going to bind to the thiol, and what that's going to do is then help neutralize that odor. So in a combination, so we've got the dish soap to pull it away, um, as well as having some of the baking soda. Then lastly, what I'm going to do, and I think maybe you can see it here, here is an essential oil. This one is peppermint. I'm going to add in 10 drops of peppermint. Because what I'm also wanting to do is get Pippi smelling so much better before she heads off home. letting this sit in here ideally for 10 minutes we're trying to have it bind all the skunk smell I mean really just think of it as a the anal gland of a skunk I mean that's what's been sprayed on them and that's the odor itself we're trying to have all that peroxide bind it so then the the, the dish soap uh, the, the mint can actually help us actually remove along with that baking soda remove those odors so now it's been 10 minutes. I'm gonna really rinse Pippi well, and then lastly, uh, I'm really make sure I sort of be careful around her eyes, and I'll just give them a bit of a cool water sort of splash too, to make sure there's nothing you know, irritating her eyes as well. So let's just get on with rinsing Pippi, and I'll tell you how she smells. She's gonna be bound to be smell better than me, you know, because as you saw earlier, she was rubbing up against me, and I smell a bit skunky. Okay, Pippi, let's get you clean. <laughs> 